Yo, YouTube fam, how y'all doing? Your boy Tecmo here again, back with another review and unboxing. And what I have for you guys today is a review and unboxing on the LG Tone free, completely wireless earbuds. And these are new for 2017. And these are supposed to rival the other completely wireless earbuds, such as the Soul Republic Amps Airs that I've reviewed and unboxed on the channel and obviously the Apple AirPods. And now these are a little bit different because they do have the neck band, but what the neck band does is serve as a place for you to house them while you're not using them. And the good thing about the neck band is that it'll vibrate when you get a phone call and things of that nature. And you can actually put them in the neck band to charge them when they go dead. So those are some great features. I'm not gonna talk too much. What I'm going to do, you know the format, take you to the website, go through the specs very briefly, and then we'll come back, unbox them, and I'll pair them to my phone, tell you how they sound, and then give you an analysis. So give me a second, let me take you to the website. Okay guys, so as you can see here, we're on LG's website, and again, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the LG Tone Free Bluetooth Wireless Earbuds. Okay, and this is a picture of how they look. They're black, that's the only color you can get right now, and they have these little silver accents on each side. And here are the earbuds themselves. They do MSRP at $199.99, and you can buy them at various places. You can get them at Best Buy, Amazon, a lot of different places are carrying them, although some don't have them in stock yet because they're relatively new. Okay, and what we're going to do is go over the features really briefly so you guys know what comes along with these if you decide to pick them up. And I did get mine from Best Buy. Um, they just came in stock not too long ago because I had been checking on these for a little while now. And as soon as they said they were in stock, I said I'll go pick them up and review them and unbox them for you guys. So here we go. It says experience the LG Tone Free real wireless Bluetooth earpods with all day in-band charging. The wireless earbuds can charge while they are docked in the neck band. Here are the specs. You got Bluetooth 4.2. You got talk time is up to three hours. In the neck band, 7.2 hours. Music play time, three hours. In the neck band, about 7.2. Standby time, up to 82 hours in the neck band. Charging time should be less than two hours. Operating range is 33 feet. Weight earbuds are 0.2 ounces each. The neck band itself is 1.62 ounces. And they have balanced armature speakers. Available colors, like I said, just black at the moment. Okay. And in the box, this is what we should have. We should have the LG Tone headphones, of course. We should have the neck band. We should have a USB charging cable and we should have some ear gels and the document. So that being said, let's get straight to the unboxing. Let's go ahead and bust these open and see what's actually in the box. Okay guys, so I'm gonna just give you a quick look at the box so you know what you're getting if you go to pick these up. That's the front. On the side, just a couple features. On the back, again, those are the specs. The other side have some more features there. The top, some more features, and on the bottom is nothing. While I'm opening these up, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has liked and subscribed to the channel. Right now, I think I'm at 140. That's crazy. I remember when I was at two, three, four, ten, and the channel has just been growing slowly but surely. And again, for all of you guys that have liked left a comment, anything of that nature. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You keep your boy motivated to keep putting this content out. So inside, just a plain black box that says LG, life's good. And then here we have some documentation right off the bat. Please read the user manual before operating. To use, place wireless earbud on your ear so that the microphone is positioned on the top and the multi-function button on the bottom closest to your earlobe. C diagram. Okay. There are our accessories. Got, Got documentation and some ear gels. 
USB charging cable. Okay, and then there are your earbuds right here. And then the neck band. So let's look at the neck band quickly to see what it has to offer. Okay, it's a nice sleek design. Again, it's black with the little silver inserts right here. And then on the side, this is the button that you push if you want to take the earbud out. And other than that, I don't believe there are any other buttons on these. Yep, the other side has the push for you to take the earbud out. And this is your on and off switch. Okay, and there are the protrusions for you to charge these because again, like I said, while you have the earbuds inserted into your neckband, you can charge them. So that's a great feature, like I said earlier. We'll put that to the side and then look at the earbuds. Okay, so there are the earbuds themselves. They have a little weight to them. They're not the lightest earbuds I've ever held. Definitely think I will feel these in my ears. They're not gonna feel weightless like some other earbuds, but I'll give you guys an analysis once I actually put them in. You can see them there. And these are buttons right here. If I don't know if you guys can see that. Those are actual clicking buttons that you use as your multifunction, and I'll get to that a little bit later. But I'll show you guys how they look when they're inserted into the neckband. And you put them in really easily. They snap right into place without any kind of issue. Okay. And that is how they look while they're inserted. And right now, they're charging. As you can see, they're pulsing. They're charging. That's how they look from the side. And to take one out, you just press that. Take them out, no problem. Real nice and simple. Okay, and what I'll do now is give you guys a look at how they look on me so you have an idea of how they'll look if you choose to buy them. So give me a second. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have the neck band on. I haven't tried them on in my ears yet, but the neck band has a little weight to it. It's not the light. This neck band will flap up and down if you're doing any type of exercise that you're jumping up and down. So the good thing about these is that you don't need to have this around your neck in order to use the earbuds. You don't have to have this anywhere around. These earbuds pair independently from the neck band so you don't have to have this anywhere near the earbuds in order to use them so these earbuds should last you about three hours and then the neck band itself can charge them up to another seven so that's a great feature guys I mean they're not said to be sweat proof or waterproof but I mean those features are pretty good a lot of different earbuds have extra cases but but this is kind of cool you can have them clicked right here in the neck band so you don't have to worry about losing them or anything like that while they charge and these do have voice prompts so when i just popped them out of the neck band they said battery high um ready to pair so snap them on okay so they feel pretty comfortable in my ear. They do have a little weight to them, like I said, but they're not overly heavy. I do feel them in my ears. I know they're there, but they're not weighing me down at this point. So this is how they look from the side, from the back, from the other side. So right now, they don't feel like they're gonna fall out. I mean, who knows, once I start sweating or using them at the gym, they might, but right now they feel pretty comfortable. So what I'm gonna do now is pair them to my phone, uh, play a few songs and give you guys an analysis of how they sound, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so before I give you an analysis of how I think they sound, I gotta touch on these playback controls quickly so you know what these can do. Now, you can't change the volume from the earbuds, okay? But you can pause and play answer a call and hang up a call and you can move to the next song but you can't go to the previous song so these two like I said these are buttons so if you press it once it'll start your music up 
and as you can hear the music just started up now if you press it again it'll put it on pause okay now we'll start it up and then press it twice and then it'll go to the next song but you can't go to the previous song there is no way that you can do that from the earbuds so if that's a problem for you you might have to take that into consideration another thing I want to show you guys is the companion app to these which is called the LG tone and talk app and as you can see here I have it downloaded on my phone and you can't do that much it will show you how much battery life you have on each of your earbuds you can change the EQ you only have three modes you have bass normal and treble okay and you can change your notifications turn them on and off you have a few settings here vibration frequency voice notifications you do have your user guide in the app if you're out and about and you happen to need it it's right there and it'll tell you how to do everything you need to do okay so I mean it's a cool feature I really wish that you could change the volume on these but I mean most earbuds don't have that feature so it's not a knock on LG you guys aren't the only one that don't have that feature my amps air you can't do it on those either and I love those so that's okay okay so as far as the sound quality it's not great it didn't blow me away at all um, I'd say the clarity is not very good in my opinion I would give the clarity the highs and the mids about a 6 to a 6.5 um, there is a tinny sound that comes out of them and the bass I would give probably about a 6 maybe a 6.5 as well the bass is a little lacking it doesn't really punch in your ears that much I've had LG tone headphones in the past they usually have pretty good sound quality I don't know if it's because this is a new style for them being completely wireless and they're trying to figure it out but these do not sound as good as some other LG tones that I pay a lot less money for and are older than these so at the price $199 these are definitely not a go for me um, just for the simple fact that I don't think they're worth that amount of money I mean the features are nice um, the build quality is nice but that doesn't mean anything because they don't sound that great in my opinion now for some people they may be adequate but at this price point you're looking for a little bit more than adequate I think you're looking for good sounding quality and these just don't hit the mark for me I'd say probably at hundred dollars they might be a good value then but at two hundred dollars I do not think that these are a go I definitely would not feel good paying two hundred dollars for these I mainly bought them to unbox and review for the channel so if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section. But until next time, guys, I hope this review and unboxing was helpful to you. Until next time, your boy Tecmo, I'm out. Peace.